we're going to have an unusually interesting presentation today by Shitesh Kapoor, who is Chief of Research at the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health and Canada Research Chair and Professor of Psychiatry at the University of Toronto. His paper is entitled Linking Biology, Pharmacology and Phenomenology in Psychosis. And there's a subtitle which I see is not on the screen. A feasible project or just a delusion? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Kapoor. was about linking biology, uh, pharmacology, and phenomenology in psychosis. Now, the first two are usually done in a number of, uh, you know, standard societies in biological psychiatry and things like that. What uh, perhaps is provocative about all of this uh, is the last element of it, is that have we reached a place where we can start building plausible bridges uh, between biology and pharmacology, which you can pretty much test in rats, but phenomenology, uh, which you can really get uh, in humans in a way that's meaningful. So uh, it, is, it is not just a simple scientific talk, it is in some ways a larger philosophical question, and that's why I have subtitled it, uh, is this a feasible project at the moment given the level of knowledge we have, or is it just a delusion? So in other words, should these two worlds just continue to function in parallel without trying to build too many bridges, or have we reached the place where we can actually make plausible and sensible links between the two. Uh, and since I do not wish to read on an antipsychotic, of course, I think it's a feasible project, but I will uh, let you be the judge uh, when I end. So let me begin with what I, I see as the problem that I wish to address. As you know, there is this uh, very uh, popular dopamine hypothesis of schizophrenia. Uh, I've spent uh, a fair bit of my academic energies adding to that. But if you go and read all the textbooks that describe this hypothesis, I would say that it's a fairly mindless hypothesis. So, so the hypothesis means something like this, that there is something called dopamine, there is too much of dopamine, and then, voila, psychosis happens. What the hypothesis does not uh, spend any energy or time on, that dopamine is a chemical. Even if it were true that there is too much dopamine, that does not in any way lead to the explanation of what we see. Because after all, patients do not come to us complaining, look, I got too much dopamine. They come to us hallucinating or delusional. Uh, and the dopamine hypothesis does not worry about that at all. But let me tell you, and as I will show you, there is very good evidence that there is a dopaminergic abnormality in schizophrenia. We just have to link it to what schizophrenia is. 